Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Let's look at another question on how to investigate the continuity of functions. So let's say we are asked to investigate the continuity of this particular function. So what do we do here? So we said when it comes to investigating continuity for functions of this nature, that we just have to find the limits of this function at this point. And if an answer gives us 8, it is a continuous function. If it does not give 8, then it is not a continuous function. So solution for this, solution, I will simply have to pick the limit of the given function, which is uh, 8 minus x cubed all over 4 minus the square root of x cubed plus 8 as x approaches 2. Right. So, unlike our previous example, for this one, we can see that this function or the denominator involves a square root. So, hence, we have to use the concept of rationalization. So, we said to rationalize any sort, simply multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, as we discussed in the previous class. So this will now be equal to, I'm having 8 minus x cubed all over, I'm having 4 minus square root of x cubed plus 8. Multiply this by this conjugate, and we said to get the conjugate, simply change that word positive, that's the opposite sign. So this now becomes 4, negative becomes positive, square root of x cubed plus 8 all over 4 plus square root of x cubed plus 8. So we have this. Alright, let's put this up. So we said use the first term and multiply 2 if you so wish. For this one here, I don't want to multiply by the first term. So it becomes this like this. And that's a uh, 8 minus x cubed multiplying 4 plus 4 minus, okay, 4 plus the conjugate, the square root of x cubed plus 8. We have this all over. So I'm having 4 times 4 gives you 16. 4 times plus root x squared plus 8 gives plus. 4 roots x cubed plus 8 minus root x cubed plus 8 times 4 gives you minus 4 roots x cubed plus 8. Next up, this multiplies this. Plus times minus is minus. Next up, root x cubed plus 8 multiplies root x cubed plus 8. This gives us x cubed plus 8. So we already discussed this concept in our previous class, right? I will leave a link to our previous class on this in the description of this video below. So in our previous class, what we discussed is we said the concept is this. Do not expand numerator. Simply expand only denominator because we are expecting that after expansion, we we'll have a term that will cancel one of the terms in the numerator. So hence, from this, we'll have this as being equal to, this gives you 8 minus x cubed into 4 plus the square root of x cubed plus 8 all over. From here, we can see that plus Square root of x cubed plus 8 minus 4 root x cubed plus 8. This can cancel this. So I'm left with 16 minus in bracket x cubed plus 8. If I expand this, this is now equal to 8 minus x cubed into 4 plus square root of x cubed plus 8 
all over expand the cesium 16 this and this minus x cubed minus plus minus 8 so hence this will now be equal to in bracket 8 minus x cubed into 4 plus the square root of x cubed plus 8 all over 16 minus 8 gives 8 next up minus x cubed so I have this as denominator so as expected I've seen that the denominator can actually cancel out one of the terms of the numerator which is this so at this point this can now cancel this so this can now cancel this it now reduces the function f of x to be equal to just this 4 plus square root of x cubed plus 8 of course all over 1 all over 1 so it becomes this over 1 which is itself at this point now we we'll now put x put x as being equal to what I have here which is 2 so put x as being equal to 2 if I put x as 2 we we'll have that f of 2 is now equal to 4 plus the square root of we said x is 2 so it becomes 2 cubed plus 8 that is you 2 cubed plus and that's equal to 4 plus the square root of 2 cubed is 8 plus 8 so 2 cubed becomes 2 times 2 which is 4 times 2 which is 8 so from here I will have this being equal to 4 plus square root of 8 plus 8 is 16 so it's equal to 4 plus square root of 16 is 4 and that's equal to 8 so observe that after solving or on taking the limit of this function my answer becomes 8 same thing as what I have here alright so since it here I am having the same answer 8 as what is given the question therefore we can say that the function is continuous so therefore the function is continuous at x equal to what I have here that's 2 alright so this is how we solve questions of this kind.